Right, so what you need to do now is make up the light unit for your LED. So we've got the USB lead coming in through the silver wooden block, uh, in through two 4mm holes, and then we've got um, some small holes for the LED and the resistor. The first thing we need to do is to mark where we want the holes. So the LED holes are going to be sort of this end about that far apart. One down, further down for the resistor, and then a couple down here for the wire. Those have got to be 4mm and the others have got to be uh, panel pin size. So to, to drill the panel pin size holes, take a pair, take a panel pin and a pair of side cutting coal combination pliers. Put the head of the panel pin in the cutting part, right down to the uh, near the near the pivot, and then squeeze the handles. The uh, the head will come off, and it'll just ping off somewhere. Make sure you don't have it so that it pings into someone's face, and then put that in the chuck of a cordless drill. Make sure you get it in centrally, not like that. That's all right, and tighten it up. Right, <coughs> over uh, a block of uh, scrap wood. Okay, so block of scrap wood. Uh, put the panel pin on two holes and drill through and that one there for the resistor. Change the drill over for a 4mm drill for the uh, USB cable to go through. The USB cable is wrapped through these two holes to act as a strain relief so that it doesn't uh, pull the connections out. So that one wants to be there and that there. Bit of sandpaper to get that Get the bits off. Right. Now the LED has got two legs. A long one and a short one. The, you need to know which is which because the, red, the long leg must go to the red wire on the USB lead. So what I suggest you do is gently pull the legs apart and put them through so that the long leg goes in the hole on the side where you've got two holes. Then take your resistor and bend the legs down like that. It doesn't matter which way around the res resistor goes, but the LED is a polarity sensitive component. It does matter which way around it goes in the circuit, otherwise it won't work. Push the resistor through those two holes. Now the long leg can be easily be identified now because that's the side that you've got against the resistor. So that's the long leg. You can bend the LED up like that for the moment to hold it in place. And what, what you need to do there next is to wrap the, the resistor around that long leg of the LED. Okay, so LED long leg, in this case it's, uh, it's on the left. The resistor is that side, the resistor is through those two holes, and the legs are wrapped together behind. Now I'm going to solder those first of all, to hold it all in place. I'm going to solder those two together. So we take a soldering iron and take it out of the holder. There'll be a wet sponge or wet paper towel in the holder. Just wipe the tip on there and then put a little bit of solder on the end of the soldering iron. That's called tinning the iron. Hold that against the twisted legs feed in a bit more solder and it does the joint there. Okay. Now, the next thing is to put the USB lead through. So poke it through from the same side as the ends of the legs, like that, push it through and then poke it back so that it comes out the same side it went in and that's the side where the end of the uh, resistor and LED legs are poking through. Right, the red lead has got to go to the long leg of the resistor of the um, LED and that is the side that you've got the resistor attached to. So bend the leg around the resistor 
um, leg. Bend it over. Now you might find it keeps falling on the floor, it's difficult to hold still. So what I would suggest you do, if you if you do have that trouble, is to get a piece of sellotape and stick it down onto this piece of um, smooth MDF or top of the bench or something. That will just hold it in place. Take your soldering iron on the sponge, tin the iron, touch the joint and then feed in a little bit more solder and it should have attached when the solder cools. And finally, same thing to the black leg, uh, uh, the black wire on the short leg of the LED. Just bend it around to make a little hook and then just bend the wire, uh, the leg up like that. And tape it down again to hold it still. You don't have to do that but it is easier. And then soldering iron on the sponge, tin the iron in, pause, feed in a bit more solder, and done. Right, all you need to do now is to get a pair of uh, side cutters or something and remove the extra length of the, uh, the legs. You do that because they mustn't uh, touch when the thing's in use. Right, that's that. Then you plug that in and it should work. If it doesn't, then it's up to you to fault find it. You've probably got the LED in the wrong way around. Now that is fiddly but you've got fingers and that's what they're for. Right, when you've done it, the test is put it into the USB and if it lights, it's right. If it doesn't, as I say, more than likely or not, you've got that uh, LED the wrong way around.